Okay. So, the more that I communicate, the more that I'm starting to realize in certain instances people are asking incorrect questions as well as I'm asking incorrect questions. But the issue that arises is when you want to hold them accountable for their miscommunication. Some people are willing to backpedal and say, oh, I'm sorry, I actually meant to ask you this because I'm asking to get an answer for this. Whereas some people are just like, well, you got what I meant anyways, answer it. And I'm just like, I don't want to play that game anymore. Because growing up, that's where you get to be able to play the, well, you were thinking it, that's why we did it. Or that's where you get to play the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's not devil's advocate. It's the, um, well, it's where you can play at least lower accountability because, well, I didn't say it, you were thinking it as well as you're the one that interacted it. Like, I, I didn't not agree, but at the same time, you were thinking it. So, you know, you know what I mean? Just because I said it or I said something similar to it and you finished it because, you know, the double meanings, the entendres that English be having or just the, the looks that be like, I don't know. So at the same time, I want to set out clear just so I am aware that it is what I think it is and not what I thought it was. So I want it to be what I know it is compared to what I think it is or what I thought it is. Because if I didn't hear it, then I don't know what the fuck it is. And even when I hear it, sometimes it doesn't really matter because people's minds change and you're allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to do what you want to do when you can do it within the respects and the regards of other people depending on what exactly you are trying to do and i figure if you intend to have others with you when you are doing what you want to do you have to have consent of that other person when you do it including filming ethan uh just a flash of a conversation with junior and i and how he got upset at me for recording and he's like i don't want to be on camera he's like i do not consent to this i'm like fine but he did not not consent to it. And he knows for as much as I am around, there's always going to be a camera. And why? Well, I've explained it once. I'll probably explain it a million times. When it comes to he says, she says, he says, he says. I keep receipts, motherfuckers. And why? Because I'm an honest person. But do I know honest people? I don't know. I know some honest people. And I know some people are honest at times. But to say that I know honest people? To say I'm always an honest person? What is it? Duality, I figure you have to be a little bit flexible because if you're too much of one thing, you're a danger. Moderation is key in existence. And I used to be so honest, people got mad at me. You fucking asked! And you didn't say lie. So of course I was telling the truth. I was unaware I was supposed to and I was allowed to. So because you said and asked me, I told you. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to be a dick. <laughs> I was just being me, which sometimes is mean. And I didn't mean to, but I guess I'm a mean dude. And as I was growing up, I learned how to lie and I guess say things in a more softer way. Like here comes the airplane to open your mouth and digest the information I'm giving you. Or what if I just tell you blunt in layman's term, I'm stupid with it. And I don't mean to be a dick, but if you tell me to tone it down, I'll figure out how to communicate with you. That's how I work in society. But when I tell people I'm bothered, they just say, stop your bitching. Come on. Are you kidding? I'm just joking. But I they really. I never fucking know. I believe what you tell me. And am I the fool for believing the lies? Well, you're the idiot that told me. And I'm just saying you had the chance to be with a real person, to be able to create, to be able to learn, to be able to nurse, to be able to, even if we don't grow together, to grow apart and come back at least. But to lie to me is to forever leave and never know how to find me like a weird supernatural event it's supernatural how it happens but you don't always seem to see i was there one day and i'm gone another but the remnants is still in your memory i know i know i know but when you tell other people they don't believe you there's no such thing as unicorns those mythical things there's no such thing as fairies goblins demons angels santa parents that love you i'm just saying there's no such thing you guys are crazy coming from an orphan brain raised in society in small and large communities but it's not really all that large and not really all that small i know what greed can do i know what community looks like i know what love isn't i'm still trying to learn what love is i'm still trying to learn how to be nice and be honest like yeah i can always be nice to you but 
who's that really nice to? Because the only person I can always be nice to is me, because when you change your moods, I can't always know. I can't always be. I can't always fix your problems, but I can always fix mine. <laughs> I'm just saying I learned through doing and through being screwed and through screwing and I didn't screw like other people screwed but I still learned how to in existence the whole entire point is to enjoy the journey to your destination where are you going next to you're already there so why be in such a hurry when you're there you're there when you're getting there what will you see? And I've seen a lot of things to see even more things because I haven't seen all the things that I'm yet to see. And this is probably why I'm still existing. On six attempts, will there be a seven? Probably. Made by who? Maybe me. Maybe my ego. Maybe my guilt. Maybe my depression. Maybe somebody that loved me enough that I dismissed. They got upset. And now... If I can't have you, well, you shouldn't exist. Was that love? Was that hate? Probably jealousy and envy coming out in the way I do. I hope nobody hates me enough or loves me enough to be that crazy. And if they are, please, two to the brain. Make sure you get the job done because if I wake up, I'm coming for you. And I don't mean that flatteringly. I will get my licks back. Yeah, I'm crazy. I ain't got no ops, and that's because they know not to play with me. I don't be pressing people, so why are you trying to press on me? I think you're being nice. Oh, you're flirting, trying to fuck with me, but I'm the top. Now, get on your knees. <clears throat> I'm submissive to women, aggressive to dudes, and that's not because I'm horny. I'm just like, well, when it comes to he says, she says, she can say what the fuck she want to, so <gasps> I didn't do nothing. But when it comes to he and he, well, I just got to be stronger, faster, smarter. He can't stick his dick in me. I'm too much of a beast. Get the fuck away. I just say crazy things and people either enjoy the art or this nigga crazy. Yeah.